All right. Welcome back to what is probably going to be maybe not the last, but one of the last, second to last, third to last, I don't know, um, installment of this here Corpse Party. We've had a good run, and we've uncovered a lot of shit, honestly. And so we're on to chapter five now. Based on how, like, these little star reading things are sort of laid out here, I don't know if these are, like, possible endings or certain whatevers, but wh whatever they represent, Chapter 5 has a ton of them, alright? So, I don't know if this is going to be... Obviously, it's going to be a climax, but I don't know if we're about to have a lot of decisions and we're about to lose a lot of people. I don't know. Well, let's just see. Ha! Huh. My, you're really shaking. What's the matter? Well, I don't know. Kind of creepy. Was that you? I screamed just now. Was that, uh, well, something happened? Hmm? A scream? For me? I don't recall making any sound at all. Don't hurt little Yuka. Come now, stand up. If you just sit here cowering, we'll never find my little sister, nor your big brother. My stomach. Ugh. Hmm. Is it really that bad, Yuka? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So this is what it looks like when someone holds it into the point of bursting. How pitiful. Oh, look at his little smug face. I just want to smack him. I wonder what sort of face she'd make if I forced her. Uh, I'm not even going to finish that sentence, bruh. You're weird. Did I say pitiful? Hmm. I really don't look like this guy. Like at all. So how about it? Would you live with me? Live with me? Live with me? Bruh. What? Her gulp. Um, I think I'll be okay on my own. I'll look for my brother myself. Have a nice life. Please kindly F off. What are you saying, Yuka? Saying I don't... No? I don't like the way his head is just slightly cocked in my direction. You're my little sister. I feel I'm about to have to take off. I have a feeling I'm about to have to Usain Bolt out of here. Simply no way out of here. Everyone's going to die. So let's continue to be brother and sister until our dying breaths for however long we may have. Uh, bye. Yuka, I wouldn't recommend going that way. Something dreadful happened downstairs just a moment ago. Huh? Um, go ahead and save. Oh, my. Eek. Um, are you, are you, buddy? Buddy? You good? Wheeze, who are you? Uh, my name is Makaida. Your stomach, it's uh, kind of on the outside now. I'll, I'll try to find something to help you stop it. My handkerchief, that won't, that won't do. That'll just, that'll tickle it. Come on, think, Yuka, think. Ah, you need to get away from here right now, hurry. But if I don't do something about your injuries, you're really going to die. I'll just apply pressure, okay? Stay with me. I see you over there, dude. I see you. Who on earth could have done this to you? Oh! 
Bruh. That's for not listening to your big brother, Yuka. She's going in convulsions. How unsightly. Stop this! Kazame! Kazami. I'm sorry. Pardon? I should have done more to stop you when we were kids. I'm your best friend, after all. I never filled that role very well. Never did the things I should have. What are you going on about? Have you really deluded yourself into thinking you're my best friend? What a tool. What a bag of tools. I don't recall you ever standing up for me, not even one time. <laughs> Guess I really haven't been a very good friend. Well, you won't be regretting that for long, but I must say... I am rather curious about these things you should have done as my so-called best friend. Please, do enlighten me. Oh, I don't know, maybe something like this? Oh! Got him! Got him! It's on now! It's on now! That really hurts, you know. Not blaming other people for everything, you effing coward. Ow! Now I'm for real dying. I was long enough to have plot. You son of a bitch. Take a good look around you, Kazami. Take a good look at who you're up against. No one's conspiring against you. We're no threat. We're your friends. <laughs> That's bullshit, and you know it. You're the fucking coward, Kurosaki. Uh, okay. Oh, ma. Oh, ma. Really hurts. Big brother. Back to your senses, are you, Yuka? Bruh, he eviscerated him. Everything is just fine now. Your brother will protect you. But you're not my brother. Your big, strong brother will make sure to keep you safe. Uh... What's this, a key? Science lab, it says. Huh. <laughs> Guess you won't be needing this anymore, Kurosaki. Uh... Isn't it just horrible the way these spirits kill people? You wouldn't want that to happen to you, right? Well, don't worry. I won't let them know. I'll protect you from that horrible fate. For you see, I'll put it into it myself. I'll snuff out that tiny, tiny... He making face at me. Um... No fair running, wait for me! Well, this makes things a little difficult, don't it? Um, um, oh, damn, he's right there. And of course, I can't save Yuka. Ha uh -huh. hey, wait for me. I don't want to. I don't want to. Please get away from me. Sir. 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 Um. I don't know what to do. Run, rabbit, run, gahaha. -ha. Um. I don't feel like that was necessary entirely.
Um, this is where the girl in the red dress was. Oh, key for an entrance. Well, now I have to go out here. Oh, frick, man. Um, run, 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 run. Come on. I don't like this. I mean, I feel like I'm almost at pay dirt, but it's almost too easy at this point. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Although I wonder. It's almost. Almost, as if the girl in the red dress helped me. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I don't know what to do now. This way, come on, hee hee. Um... I'm probably making a mistake, but it's the only lead I've got. Okay. Got him! Yeah. Here's the thing, I probably shouldn't cheer for him in that moment. That guy was a freaking creep. I say was. Still is. I don't know. Apparently, uh, Yanaga Hori Jr. is a, a terrible aim, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Pant, pant. Pant, pant. Mayu, Mayu, where are you? How long have we been here? It must have been in the middle of the night by now. My, am I ever thirsty? Oh my, don't you realize how very worried I am about you? How are you holding up right now, I wonder? What sort of thoughts are swimming through your mind? You scare so easily. And you've such a fragile soul. You really do need me by your side. Does he realize that he... Okay. She, bro, wait up. What's wrong? Not going to club today? Hmm, that's a good question. What is wrong? Only auditions for the lead, you know. Oh, I know, but there's no way they'll pick me. How come? I mean, I've seen how much you want it. Been poring over that script for the last month. Not to mention practicing lines in the gym equipment room. You, you saw that? How embarrassing! Next time, you should say something. But you were so into it. I was actually just kind of happy to see you in your element like that. Well, either way, I'm giving up on that particular goal. But why? After all that study and that practice. Everyone knows the parts in our production are chosen based on popularity, not on action talent. I mean, you're an upright, idealistic individual. So you're probably going to think I'm a bit of a spineless coward for this. But I refuse to attend an audition when I know it won't make a bit of difference. Aww. I truly hate it. I always make an effort to attend social events and put on a pleasant front. But, well, I guess it all comes down to the fact I'm simply not well liked. But I like you. You're a good actor, Sheeg. You shine in the spotlight. Really shine. And you look like you're enjoying it, too. But... If you hate it that much, then yeah, it's really not worth it. I mean, if you have to force yourself, then you're not having any fun at all, right? And what's the point in that? Besides, at least I got to see it. Sheeg's secret ra rascal... 
I'm gonna do this. Reskolnikov? You're throwing some very non-John Smith names at me, man. It takes me a little time. Come on, we'll head out together. Oh, how about we stop at the crepe stand on our way home? Doesn't that sound yummy? Yeah, let's do it. Chocolate bananas, man. <laughs> Apparently have a new one on the menu, and I'm just itching to try it. Oh, poor Suzumoto. I'm well aware. If I'm not there for you, Mayu, it's plain to see how much danger you'll be in. So I've been telling myself all this time, anyway. But that's not the real reason I'm trying so hard to find you. No, nothing so noble. Every time I saw your face, I heard you greet me with that chic, bro, you'd always say. You were saving my life. Please, Mayu, I need you. Please. Don't leave me all alone. Damn. Just once more. I have to see the suffering of others. It's the only thing keeping me sane. What? And I am still sane. I am. God, I've taken so many of them. So many pictures of the dead. So, okay, you, you make me want to empathize with you. For a second, you almost made me think maybe I should have let you catch me when I was playing as Yuka. But your face and the fact that you're like, I take pictures of dead people, makes me think that eh, maybe it was the right decision. It's so weird. They're all real honest-to-goodness corpses, but to me, they look like fakes. Nothing but props. Realistic ones, granted. Much more detailed and lifelike than the cheap fake bodies you see on the television and in the movie. Ha! <laughs> Hmm. This one is the flashiest by far. Utterly pulverized against the wall near the infirmary. Oh, she, you, you don't realize that that's your, 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 oh, absolutely breathtaking. She's been reduced to nothing more than a chaotic jumble of flesh. Not long ago, all of it was connected. This was once a human being walking and talking with a mind of her own. Should there truly be an afterlife, she must be embarrassed to show her face there with such hideously disfigured appearance. Man, this game, man. I'd probably feel bad for her if she weren't a complete stranger. Funny story about that. Ha <laughs> ha, sigh, deep breath. Ow. What's going on? If I'm receiving a call, why is the blasted thing still in... Ow, just pick it up, damn it. Just a ringtone. Maybe the OS is shot. Don't look. Don't look. Huh? Please don't look at me. What? Uh. More she, I think you're about to get hurt. Please don't look at me. Stop staring. At my insides. Sheeg, please. And the realization hits. Ah. Ah. Ha, 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 ha. Ah. Ugh. Chapter 5 It's on. The girl in the red dress, huh? I think I may have seen her. Her ghost, anyway. When I was with Seiko in one of the dark classrooms, she was crouched down on the ground and staring right at us. I saw her, too, in the shadows when Yuka and I were walking through the hall earlier. It's like she's keeping tabs on our movements. We also found an old newspaper article in the nurse's office about the Heavenly Host kidnapping and murder case. There were photos of the four victims, and she was one of them. There's no doubt in my mind that ghost girl we've both seen is definitely Sachiko. And how is that possible? According to what we just saw, Sachiko wasn't killed. She survived. And if that's the case... Shouldn't she have grown up into a proper adult by now? She'd have to look older than us at the very least. Staying behind in a place like this in child form with the other victims just doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, does it? 
Yeah, that part bothers me too. I'm guessing that shortly after the incident, through some unrelated accident or something, Sachiko lost her life as well. We can somehow meet up with her spirit. Maybe we can learn more about what happened. More than what was reported, at the very least. If it's the key to getting everybody out of here safely, I'll take my chances with the school's curse, or whatever the hell they call it. Once we find Yuka, let's say we look for Sachiko as well. Okay. Oh, I am worried. I haven't heard Yuka's voice at all since before you found me. Yeah, need to find some means of getting back to the other building. Eep. Now, what the hell? This feels completely different than any of the others. Oh god, it's a big one! School can't possibly... Uh, yeah. Naomi, are you alright? Hang on to me! Okay. Don't let go. I won't. Damn it! This keeps going. Naomi! Yeah. Ah, it's a ceiling beam. Satoshi! He's bleeding. Satoshi, speak to me. Are you okay? Ouch. No, Satoshi. No, please don't kill me. Don't kill me, no. Shinazaki, snap out of it. Ag. Roof. Gasp. Pantwee's cough. Shinazaki, are you alright? Ugh. 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 Top quality voice acting here. It's okay. Everything's okay. Okay? Come on, Shinazaki. Everything's fine. You're safe. Sob sniffle snork. What the? You like blowing your nose on people, don't you, Ayumi? That's what happened to me. What? What was it like? What'd you see? I saw the true identity of the murderer. Huh? That's why the damn doll wasn't enough. Repentance from the killer. We had the wrong person. Wait, are you telling me you were actually there? Like you saw the scene of the murders? That's exactly what I'm saying. I was seeing everything through Yuki's eyes. I was bound and then I was killed. God damn it, you little piece of... It's not her fault. I'm the one who wanted to know. The murderer was a little girl. You remember the newspaper article Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it, along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress, Sachiko Shinazaki. She was listed as one of the victims, but believe me, she's no victim. What? Huh, no, that can't be right. That's impossible for a little girl to do something like that. How could she abduct other children her own age and keep them prisoner, no less? I could believe it if it were that monster with a hammer. He seems fully capable of kidnapping and tying up kids any day of the week. He was just an accomplice. When these children were killed by Sachiko, the man with the hammer was in the corner of the room, quaking in fear. You can't be serious. Oh, but buddy, yes I can. I have no idea why he would have helped Sachiko in the first place, though. I have to tell the others, Makaida, Mrs. Shido, yeah, I guess. Even Neho wasn't able to find the whole truth, and she's been in there longer than any of us. I'm not sure that she's not somehow in league with... It's okay. If we don't hurry up and tell them, they'll be dead before they ever find out. Sachiko catches them unaware, it could all be over. I really hope that Yuka following Sachiko was not a problem. But... I don't know. We'll see. I have to go back. Yuki, please... Take us back to the closed spaces. We'll find a way to exorcise you and all the other spirits trapped in Heavenly Host, I swear. I wouldn't recommend that. I think she's right. As a result of your interference, as well as the interference of your friends, the space is now in a state of critical flux. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home again. Exclamation mark. But if we don't go back, 
everyone's going to die. Kishinuma. Let's go, please, for our friends. Come on, from Akata. Alright, we'll go back, I guess. I feel like that's the way the game wants me to go. So I gotta, right? I gotta. Gotta go back. Hey, hush your damn truck up. Recording in here. Against my better judgment. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. It'll be fine. Damn it. We'll go back after all. I don't have a lot of real friends. I'd hate to lose the ones that I do. What's that? What are you mumbling about? You got something to say? Nothing at all. I was hoping I could go see Minky just once more, but I guess I have to put that aside. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this a lot. Entry into the Empire of Japan secret intelligent base is strictly forbidden. Expulsion all trespassers. Expulsion all trespassers? Where the hell are we? Uh, yeah? I'm sorry, I really am. I wish you the best of luck. This is something I think Satoshi and the others may need. If you find them, please give it to them for me. Marble statue? Cool. Why don't you give them to him yourself? Because she's following them around the school right now. I can't get close enough. There's another statue like it, though. A red one. If you find it, make sure they get that one, too. Understood. The three of us are prepared for the challenges ahead now that our tongues have been restored. But due to our momentary awakening, the balance of these close spaces has begun to collapse. Be very, very careful. Also remember, in order for Sachiko to feel remorse, you must appeal to her humanity. Must purify her soul! It's the only way. My mind has already come under attack. So next time you see me, run. Run. Yeah, now let's just focus on finding Satoshi, Miss Yui, and the others. Well, Saf, Miss Yui, the only other people we've seen so far are Suzumoto and Morishigi. We explored pretty much everywhere. Are you sure the others are even here? Well, think about it. Remember the closed spaces? First ghost we saw told us all about them when we got here with Miss Yui. Basically, anyone we can't find is probably in another version of the school. Which is why we never ran into them. Is there something you've failed to understand? Uh, I, yeah. There's a lot to take in here. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of things that don't make sense that we're having to just sort of say, okay, yeah, sure, that makes sense, I guess. Wait a minute. That's the case. How the hell are we supposed to tell them about the murder if we can't even find them? This is a jam. Yuki just told us how. So the closed spaces have started breaking down. Am I mean... Should mean the connections between the dimensions are changing, too. Come on, let's try searching for them again. Mr. Shido and everyone else. Alright. For real? When I say I got it, I got it. Although. It's not those child spirits summoning hordes of innocent people at school and trapping them here until they die. And you kind of have to ask yourself, who is responsible, you know? He's asking the right questions. Yeah. Alright, let's do this damn thing. Turn down the volume just a skosh, because, um, you know, it seemed awful loud. Maybe I can hide them under here? Go the arrow. Nothing but earthquakes since we got here. Hope the school doesn't fall apart. That sure would be a trouble. 
I'm glad you finally got to use the restroom. That's been bugging me for a while. The school don't look a damn, not, not a damn thing like what it used to look like. Big brother. See, you helped me, but I feel like you're going to hurt me too. That concerns me more than a little bit. Well, I have options. Does anything look different to you? Very. This isn't the same school we were in before. It's a totally different heavenly host. This creepy factor's through the roof. Chill in the air. Constant dark presence. It's all worse than ever. Need to find the others and get the hell out. Yeah. I mean... I feel like there were some pieces that were untouched from before. Like, you know, the third level that I could never get into. Or, you know, the basement. Maybe, I'm, I'm hoping that'll come... You know, that'll get explained or something here, but... Hey, Shinazaki, what is it? Are you hurt? You've got a whole lot of blood on your, um, posterior. Are you serious? Scrape your butt on a piece of broken wood or something? That's kind of painful. Shut the hell up! Shut you the hell up! Look the other way for a minute, huh? God, does that boy have no concept of tact? Damn it all. What do I do about this? I don't have my gym bag here, so a change of clothes is out of the question. Really don't want to meet up with Makaido. The other's looking like this. It's okay with him. God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! Can't take this anymore. Don't have a breakdown over that. What's that? Oh my god! It's a student ID tag from Kisaragi. Someone we must know is nearby. Nakashima's. I'm mistaking it. Seems still got the scrap of the paper from the Sachiko charm. Shinazaki, what the hell is taking you so long, hmm? Did you find someone's student ID? It's Nakashima. She must be somewhere nearby. Nakashima? Are you there? If you are, please answer me. Hello? Nakashima! Guess she's not that nearby. I love this guy. Let's look for her. She can't be far. Big brother, nom. Heck, that's hot. Honestly, who bites her sibling on the shoulder? Why are you blowing air on me? Giggle. Whoosh, whoosh, hee hee hee. Big brother, it's time for dinner. Ah, oh, it's that late already? I'll be right down, thanks. But next time, how about telling me rather than doing whatever the hell you just did? Nope. Gotta be a freak about it. <laughs> You're all smiley and junk. Mom! Bro's on his way. Heh, <laughs> what a goofball. What a, what a goof. She left her door open again, too. Yuka? Guess that was just a dream. Ooh! Ow! My head. He's throbbing. It's pitch black, too. What happened? I remember there was a big earthquake. Hmm? What's this? There's something in my hand. It's really tender, like some kind of meat. What the hell am I? Ruh. Ugh. I, uh... Satoshi? I'm sorry, please don't misunderstand. I didn't mean... Were you... Were you getting handsy? Satoshi. Satoshi. 
Is your head okay? Let's worry about your head injury. We'll go over the, the finer context and other words having to do with, like, you know, manners and how to act in public. You know, once we make sure that your head's not gaping open. Eh? A beam fell on your head. A whole damn wooden beam fell on your head during the earthquake, and it started bleeding. Your face is really red. I guess it must hurt. Thank you for shielding me. No, isn't he nice? Think nothing of it. I'm fine. My quasi-indestructible body kept it from uh, killing me too hard. I'm not bleeding anymore, at least. You're not. No. I refuse. Wow, this is incredible. What is this place? Where are we? Deep breaths, Taguchi. Stay calm. Keep a steady hand. Don't stop filming. This guy looks cooler than hell. I want every last detail captured on video. Don't miss even a single speck on the wall. They are dressed completely different. Yes, sir. Amazing. I can't believe it worked. This is sure to get me in the recognition I deserve. Boy, you keep chasing that recognition, man. That's all we try and do out here. Just chase recognition. Hell, cheers. I'll drink to that. This footage with this film, the occult genre, can be completely reborn. All right, let's get started. I think it's about time I begin penning our third Strange But True article. Experiencing this place in the flesh should prove a sufficient way to muse to get the words flowing. Okay. They're in this building, aren't they? This is the tape you put in earlier, right? Yep. Camera didn't seem to work before, though. No power, no batteries. <laughs> Looks like research footage taken by whoever it was that brought it here. Man, this place is unbelievable. Everywhere you look, there's something written down. I don't want to die. Wow, crazy stuff. Just be careful. We don't have a lot of data on this place yet. I have no idea what might happen here. It's best not to touch anything. Yeah, you're no fun. Such deliciously dark scenery all around us. I have to at least take in our surroundings, you know? LOL. I suppose you do. Damn straight, this is unreal. You think this was the right thing to do, though? <laughs> Bruh, bruh, you were just like, I gotta touch all the creepy haunted looking shit. But, uh, is it like, cool for us to be here, man? Coming here without the girl, Neho? She ain't gonna be too pleased. She'll be all like, why do you guys always do the fun stuff without me? Heh, <laughs> sounds about right. This is different from our previous excursions. I can't justify putting her in this kind of danger. That's yeah, true, but she's sure not gonna see it that way. What's that? The real deal. Looks that way. A dead body. An actual dead body. This is bad. Real bad. We gotta get out of here. Uh, five minutes ago you were like, oh, this is cool, man. Look at her uniform. It's from our era. It's new. I'm sure this place accounts for a whole bunch of missing children reports. And here they are, just riding away. What the hell have we stumbled into? You're right. We're in danger here. Said you know a way out, right? A way out? Hold on. Ah, uh, yes. The way out. The plot device. I forgot. Ah. What's wrong? Heard a voice. A child's voice. Children's voice is plural. Seriously? Listen. Can't you hear them? Where the hell are they coming from? Calm down. I'm listening, but I don't hear anything. How many are there? Boys, girls? Ah, 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 hyphen, ah! Mr. Kabiki. Mr. Kabiki, there was something there, right there, just a few seconds ago. Where? There. Right over there. Hey, you, wait, stop! Hold up. Blech! What'd you get, guy? Are you all right? Oof. I'm really sorry. I stepped on something in the camera. Is it all right? Seems to be.
Taguchi, where are you going? Damn it, the tape's almost full. Where do you put our blanks? Guess that's the end. I wonder what this way out might be. Just what it sounds like, I imagine. Unfortunately, the recording was a bit lacking in details. The reporter was looking for blank tapes, though, so there's probably a follow-up. After we were joined with Yuka, let's make finding that a priority. Sounds like a plan. For now, let's just see about getting that second building. I guess we leave the cameras pretty much stuck to the TV. Not exactly ideal, since this means we'll have to come back here to watch the next tape. It's awful quiet in here. Confinement tour has been cancelled. Safety of the combined students. Could not be guaranteed. Apologies to those who have already been confined. I pray for your continued good health. Well, 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 well. Everything's different. What's going on? School's completely changed. Guess that wasn't just an earthquake after all. Yeah, it's like we were feeling the building expand and contract around us again. Either way, we need to get moving. Come on. Okay, wait. Hold on a second. You've got splinters all over your back. Okay, so they sort of placed me up here somewhat suddenly, and there was some literature down here I wanted to take in. Closet trespassers to be expelled, okay. No entry, trespassers to be expelled, think about your futures. What in the hell is actually happening right now? It's real quiet in here. Okay. So everything is just... Everything is just expulsion notes now? Holy shit, it's Satoshi and the other person, Naomi. Yeah, I guess the close spaces really have started to break down. Satoshi, Naomi, right behind you. Edgar, hey. You're all right. Class rep. Thank God. I was hoping we'd run into you. Me too. I was beginning to wonder what I'd do without you guys. You're sicky. <laughs> Pretty sorry lot we drawn, eh? I like him. I know he's supposed to be your token asshole, but he said the most real talk stuff. No. God. Poor Susanmoto. Shinohara too, that's crazy. God damn it! She was just with us a few hours ago. Smiling and laughing. Why? Why? Why is this happening to us? Pant pant. Size shutter at any rate. Let's make sure we don't lose anyone else. In fact, consider an order from your class rep. Don't die! That's a direct order. Shinazaki. We're going to find Mr. Shido, Morshigi, and Yuka. And get the hell out of here together. Yeah, you bet we are. Remember, the murderer is Hachiko. If you run into her, be very careful. Based on what we've been told by Neho and Yuki. If we can get Sachiko to express remorse for her actions, then the three victims she killed will be appeased. The field around the school building will be lifted, and we should, theoretically, be able to get out of here and go home. Sachiko, the girl in the red dress. Can we get her to express remorse, though? That is the question. Well, what about you two? What can you tell us about this way out you mentioned? Not a damn. Porter talked about some specific means of getting home, but he was cut off before he could explain it. 
He was looking for a blank tape though when it ended, so there's probably a continuation somewhere. Look for a label that says Kabiki Research Data. Wait, did you say Kabiki? Yeah. If we can figure out what sort of method he had in mind for getting out of here, we won't have to get mixed up with ghosts and curses anymore. Seems like it'd be a lot simpler than, how'd you put it, appeasing the spirits. Problem is, it doesn't really fix anything. Escaping by putting the spirits to rest, that's the method Neho explained to me. And I don't think it's the same thing as Kabiki's way out. I'm guessing Neho wants us to put a stop to this once and for all to keep this curse from spreading any farther. If we leave things the way they are and are just escaping with our lives like you're suggesting, then countless innocent children are going to get pulled here for God knows how many years to come, and they're all going to die horribly. It may be true, but we're just high school students. How can you possibly expect us to set things right? There has to be a way to make Sachiko atone for her sins. It just has to be, and we're going to look for it. God, how can you just decide right off the bat that this plan has no chance of succeeding? She's mad. Look how mad she is. Because I'm the one who suggested... Oh, let's not... Let, mm, 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 let's not... But of course not. Come on, we need to work together on this. How about the two of us look for more info on Kabiki's way out? And continue searching for Yuka, of course, while you two search for Mishui. Sounds good. Let's hear things we found when we meet back here. Satoshi, got something for you. Hmm? Don't know what it is, but that girl ghost we made friends with said to give it to you. Glass her up. Take care, okay? Nakashima. Hmm? Don't get too close to Makata. Huh? Are we having some... Are we having like some, some, you know, petty drama come in while we're trying to escape hell here? Like, I feel like we could put our differences aside. Our little, well... Must be nice to be class rep. Well, I'm class rep and you just need to deal with I feel like we could put that aside while we're trying to get out of heck here, okay? Hey, Shinazaki. What is it? I don't think you look discouraged enough. Try scowling some more. Extreme student ID and the paper doll scrap. I forgot to give them back. We can do that later. There's no hurry, really. Things are starting to look up. This is definitely not the time to mope. Let my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Spoke harshly toward a classmate for no reason. And I'm the class representative. Not here, you ain't. Here. You're just plain old Ayumi Shinazaki. And you were just being honest. Probably wouldn't have been as curt with her if I were in your shoes. That's coming from the asshole guy. Seriously? Yeah, maybe. That actually makes me feel a little better. Thanks. I'll mention it. Really, though. Even if we did track down Sachiko, I don't have the slightest idea I could possibly elicit any remorse from her. Let's just try to find Miss Yui, and even and then even if we have to use that way out, let's just get the hell out of here, all of us together. You bet. You are now following multiple parties. You may only directly control one party at a time, however. If you wish to switch from one party to the other, you may do so well by stepping on any of the p pentagrams scattered throughout the school building. So, wandered the halls for a while, searching for any sign of Yuka. In doing so, we found that the path leading to the second building finally opened itself up again. You weren't kidding, a whole nother wing. It's kind of terrifying. You'd be all right in there, Naomi. I mean, I'm scared too, but still. I'll be okay. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. As long as we have the two of us to stick together, we'll manage. Yeah, we will. As long as the two of us stick together, huh? There's that tinge of regret again, boring into my heart like a drill. You don't care about anyone's feelings but your own. Seiko's last words still echoed in my ears as if I'd only just now heard them spoken. Naomi, it's all right. It's not your fault. So she did everything he could to make me feel better. But it's obvious what happened. Her shoes were neatly lined up in front of that stall. She knew what she was doing. And I drove her to it. My angry outburst resulted in my best friend killing herself. What else could it have been? Wherever she is right now, Seiko is fierce with me. She has to be. Don't worry, we'll find you. I know we will.
Okay. The darkening has already begun. Okay. This is probably a good place to stop it for now. Wait, we're, we're getting kind of complicated now. I'm going to have to keep up with uh, multiple parties. This is a bop. It's all bops. Everything in here is just freaking cool sounding. I'm going to have to keep up multiple parties at once. I don't know if getting too far ahead changes the story or whatever. Um, I, you know, my multitasking ability, I can barely walk and blink at the same time. So this is going to be an adventure for me. But I'm going to do it for you. So come back next time. And we'll see what the hell is going to happen. Thank you for being a part of this. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Tell friends. If you like it, if not, why are you here? And until next time, because I still don't have a fancy sign-off. Bye. Shut it, dun dun dun